Hey, hi everyone. In this video, I am going to talk about new store commerce app 10.25 release. So let's get started. Our agenda for this video is we start with store commerce app. Then we'll go some benefits and the key points of this app. Then we will talk about the deployment topology of store commerce app because this new store commerce app support both the flavor of modern POS and cloud POS. So we'll go through that topology option. Then we will end this demonstration with installation and activation of the store commerce app. So we'll start with the overview. So this app is a next generation of the existing point of sale. Everything remains same, but the topology and technology wise it's different. Also the new benefits like seamless update experience also added new features will address some existing point of sale and the new point of sale gaps. This app is available from 10.25 release. So if you have LCS, you are able to download this app and the key benefits as in preview version, what we release in the store doesn't support the offline version. But this new GA version support offline version and also support local hardware session. And the last point I want to highlight this previously TypeScript and HTML code. We can use that code in the new store commerce app, but the framework and the shell of this new app is different from the existing point of sale. So let's start with the key benefits of store commerce app. First, we talk about the performance. This new app is much faster than the existing point of sale. With the existing point of sale, we have some rendering issue. But this store commerce app, this issue is resolved. As also we said that this new app is 2x faster than the existing point of sale. So when you start using this app, you will observe some performance improvement. The second key benefit is seamless update experience. In the previous version, so whenever you have to update, you have to customize all the code and create a one package and then upgrade. In this upgrade, you need to involve the dev person for the customization of the SDK and all the files. But for this app, no need to involve the dev person. Now we go to deployment topology. Here is a two main concept I need to explain. One, we call it as in-app version. In the left side, you can see first I talk about the in-app version. Then I'll talk about the hybrid. So using initial slide, we talk about the product like new commerce app bring the feature of both modern point of sale and cloud point of sale. So the name different between both these are MPOS and CPOS like MPOS supports offline and local hardware station but cloud POS doesn't support offline version and also doesn't support the local hardware station. But it give you uh, other benefits like seamless update experience. It supports centralized update instead of doing individual update. So both are having pros and cons. But in store commerce app, we bring you both the benefits of this. For example, if you have like modern point of sale experience where you install point of sale locally and manage it and support offline, then you will install the in-app mode. So this in-app mode installation pass some parameters saying like by default it's in-app version but if you want to install offline mode then you will need to provide some parameter. So this in-app version will give you similar experience of modern point of sale. Everything is managed locally so whenever you want to update the app you need to install the next version installer and run it. So this in-app mode supports the offline and local hardware station some feature of the existing point of sale. Now the new one which is hybrid one like some customer want to cloud point of sale experience like uh, manage update from the centralized location uh, like same store commerce app you can deploy the hybrid mode this hybrid mode app like a shell and rendered in the cloud point of sale from csvu uh, like whenever you want to update the store commerce app same as you update the cloud point of sale from csvu uh, these two main topology we have in in app very similar to the mpos Install everything locally, support offline mode and update manage it locally. In cloud point of sale is hybrid. The deployment is done through centralized location from the CSU. But deployment of the hybrid mode, we need to provide some parameters. It's different. We will share the parameter which you use in the deployment of in-app offline mode and the hybrid mode in the description. In the hybrid mode and for the in-app mode, you can use mix and match. For example, if the store have four point of sale, then you can use two POS as an in-app version and two POS for the hybrid version. Now we start with the demonstration of installation of store commerce app, and then I'll show the activation of the new store commerce app. First, you need to log in to your LCS. 
uh, click on shared asset library select the retail self services packages here you select 10.25 store commerce app as your version depends on your version if your version is higher then select the uh, store commerce app accordingly click on this version it start downloading till the time you need to also make a changes in the store level okay. i'll show you this changes just go to retail and commerce under the stores you find the all stores Select a store where you want to install the store commerce app. Select the register. Open the device. Edit. Here you select the application type to the store commerce app. And now save. And run 1090 and 1070 uh, job from the distribution schedule. Okay. It's downloading in progress. Still, I have da already downloaded the store commerce app and move to the uh, one folder now i this installer in this folder click on file or uh, open windows powershell select admin mode run this command dot backslash store commerce app dot installer dot exe dot install click on enter once the installation is start it will take time uh, around 10 minutes to install it start with the first step and end it with the 19 once the 19 step is completed the stores commerce app will be installed and you can find a shortcut in the desktop now i'll open the store commerce app click on next here you need to provide the url as you same as you install the modern point of sale let's go to the store level with this url enter this url in server url it will take two minutes to get your environment configuration now you log in in your environment select the store in our case it's houston select the register for which you have selected the store commerce app i selected houston one click on continue will get the message device activate successfully click on get started login with your employees credential open a new shift main drawer here you find the same interface like we get in modern point of sale here we select the database connectivity here we find all settings here you find select hardware station where connect local hardware station or a dedicated hardware station that's it for this video. Uh, hope you like this video.